Hi, I'm Aloni Bhatt and welcome to this special conversation at the MSME Day Conclave on the theme of building future ready MSMEs for India at 100. Today we have with us RVSRA Kumar. He's the General Manager, Commercial Banking Group at Karur Vaisya Bank to talk to us on banking the underserved MSME segment, empowering small businesses for growth. We'll explore Karur Vaisya's approach to MSME lending, reaching businesses in smaller cities, challenges in providing loans, and the impact of high interest rates and the role of technology in enhancing accessibility. With that, Mr. Kumar, welcome to economictimes.com. Uh, good morning, Meloni. Thanks for having us. All right, sir. My first question to you is, Karur Vaisya Bank was recognized as the runner-up for the best MSME-friendly bank and the best innovative bank by the Chamber of Indian Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises. Can you tell us how your bank approaches lending to MSMEs and you know addresses all the unique credit demands and challenges? That's right, Meloni. Uh, See, the bank has a 107 years old uh, glorious history of uh, a focused MSME lender. It's uh, traditional, uh, traditionally known as a traders, uh, traders friendly bank and a bank which is uh, friendly to micro and small enterprises uh, entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs who are in the micro and small enterprise uh, category who are more into tier three and tier four towns in uh, uh, the where uh, the, uh, the entrepreneurs uh, feel comfortable to approach the bank. They feel it is their own, uh, own partner. Uh, so over the years, uh, the bank has evolved uh, itself as a bank, uh, which is a uh, you know one-stop shop for all the requirements of micro and small enterprise uh, entrepreneurs and traders. So you will ask me, uh, what is it that uh, unique uh, methodology or unique processes that the bank has evolved? See, bank is uh, uh, has uh, adopted or has evolved a proprietary method of uh, customer connect. Uh, in the micro and small enterprises uh, uh, category, wherein uh, the customers see when I interact, I uh, I come across uh, it's uh, I mean not only me, everyone who uh, interacts with the customers, uh, there are uh, customers across uh, three four generations, banking mm -hmm. with the same bank with Karur Vaisya Bank, that is the kind of comfort that the bank gives with the unique uh, customer connect. And uh, what is important is uh, you will all uh, appreciate that uh, for uh, micro and small enterprises, the timely availability of credit and uh, adequate availability of credit, both are important. Uh, and with uh, a process which is shown of uh, difficult procedures. So that is where uh, Karur Vesya Bank uh, stands out as a unique uh, uh, SME bank. All right. Uh, you know, and uh, that's wonderful because I think that is one of the segments that's proving a little hard to crack for a lot of the other banks, but you're already present there. Uh, my next question is, you know, according to the uh, Blink Invest MSME lending report of 2022, MSME loan disbursements have doubled in the past two years, mainly in smaller cities, in the cities and towns where you operate. You know, uh, with your experience and from your vantage, what are the improvements that can be made to the credit underwriting policies and processes to further increase this growth? See, uh, the dynamics of uh, uh, the markets are ever-changing. They're so fast-changing. There are disruptions happening in various segments right. where uh, micro and small entrepreneurs or micro or small enterprises and traders who are in the bottom of the pyramid uh, in the entire scheme of things. So here... Adopting uh, a kind of uh, practical approach, uh, which uh, takes into account the ground level dynamics uh, of the business uh, and uh, helping the these businesses to withstand the, the kind of uh, uh, headwinds that the economy is facing requires uh, evolving uh, methodologies which are uh, more uh, tuned to the uh, business, uh, respective businesses. So that is where bank has evolved a uh, proprietary uh, uh, business uh, rule engine. Uh, we have embarked on a digital lending uh, uh, journey way back in 2017-18, and uh, that has now uh, come out uh, so well and popular uh, that uh, there are many cases where the deserving customers, uh, they, 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 everything is decided within a, uh, not, um, not more than an hour. The entire uh, uh, the eligibility amount, other things, uh, the automation is uh, so smooth and uh, 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 and uh, taking into taking into account all the uh, requirements the system has become fast and uh, uh, prompt for uh, meeting the requirements of the uh, entrepreneurs 
Right. Uh, you know, Mr. Kumar, you mentioned that your approach, which is essentially a, a sort of a methodology that you have evolved after interaction with your customers and understanding the customer's needs at the ground level and of course by adopting digital technologies you're able to cater uh, to this segment uh, but very often banks are cautious about lending to msmes isn't it you know because the perceived risk is such and you know also the regulations are quite strict uh, there is now though a very uh, a growing realization that uh, you know banks need to adopt uh, and adapt uh, to the changing needs of this sector. What challenges would you say banks still face in providing loans to MSMEs? And, you know, would you say that there could be any policy interventions to support banks? See, uh, as of now, the policy framework that is available is adequate to give guidance to the uh, people who are in the uh, field, I mean, the in the space. So what is required is... Uh, a proactive approach by the uh, players, uh, who, whether it is fintechs or uh, the banks or whoever, to uh, adapt themselves to the uh, ground uh, uh, level problems, uh, challenges these uh, entrepreneurs are facing and uh, work out uh, solutions. See, the underlying, uh, the most important thing that I would say, based on my experience uh, and banks, based on our bank's experiences, we should be seen, like Karur Vaisya Bank is seen as an all-weather friend by the micro and small entrepreneurs, not a fair-weather friend. So exactly. that makes a lot of difference. Right. All right. Uh, you know, uh, despite the pause in repo rate hikes, interest rates remain high, and this impacts the ability of small businesses to borrow. Uh, how would you say these high interest rates regime have affected MSME borrowing? And, you know, what would you say your outlook is for the next uh, two, three quarters? See, uh, there are two things I think I mentioned earlier also in this conversation that what matters to these small entrepreneurs, traders and micro entrepreneurs, because of the advantages they have in rotating the capital, uh, pricing is not as important as the adequate availability of working capital and timely availability of working capital. If you take care of these two factors, I don't think uh, interest rates are a challenge. Okay. Uh, given the fact that they have uh, innate ability to rotate the funds only when there is a problem in getting the payments realization uh, of the receivables so that is where banks have to step in to understand and revoke the working capital assessment uh, for accommodating uh, uh, you know where the uh, uh, receivables are stretched to accommodate yeah. them uh, that is where uh, the uh, that uh, banks are free to evolve their own uh, assessment methodologies Right. So, so you're uh, saying that the high interest rate regime has not impacted uh, uh, borrowings that you're in? See, the this uh, segment which are in the up market or upper segment, uh, where uh, which are very price sensitive, uh, what you say is applicable. But uh, those who are in the bottom of the pyramid, what matters right. to them is since they are able to rotate the capital better those who are able to those activities, those businesses which are able to rotate the capital fast, uh, they are able to uh, manage uh, the pricing. All right. Uh, you know, the expert committee on MSMEs uh, estimated a credit gap uh, of uh, 25 or lakh crore in 2019 uh, with small businesses still recovering from the pandemic. Uh, you know, what are the sort of impacts you see the uh, revamped credit guarantee trust for MSMEs, the CGT MSME scheme having on the funding landscape? To the advent of this uh, COVID uh, induced pandemic, uh, the informal uh, trade credit uh, has the sources have dried down, which has impacted the uh, the overall uh, movement in the system, the movement of capital in the system. That has added to the woes of the uh, uh, entrepreneurs in the bottom of the pyramid. But uh, increasing the uh, threshold level uh, up to five crores by uh, CGTMS is a very good initiative, and that is going to help the uh, entrepreneurs who are uh, you know in the path of growth. That is a very good initiative, and it would also mitigate the uh, the risks that the banks are also will have to handle. Uh, it, it's a very good move, and it also will help us uh, the the banks to uh, minimize the the credit gap. Any any tweaks that you think uh, are needed to improve the efficacy of it? See, the extent can be increased from seventy five percent to ninety five percent. That would be a better. Uh, uh, risk mitigant for the banks. Okay, okay. So that is uh, that is uh, your ask. You know, what is the impact you expect co-lending with NBFCs to have on MSME funding? See, uh, the areas where uh, the banking system, uh, banking system is not able to penetrate in uh, that segment of entrepreneurs, NBFCs are able to access those segments. 
so the coal ending uh, has opened a window for the banks to reach out to this segment of uh, msmes also which is uh, uh, definitely helping in uh, expanding the footprint of the banks with the help of nbfcs so this is definitely a good move and uh, uh, karur vaisya bank has also taken a good initiative uh, we are uh, partnering uh, partnering with uh, a good number of nbfcs mostly this uh, segment that we are touching are uh, the commercial equipment the commercial vehicles and commercial equipment construction equipment uh, which uh, is uh, uh, the segment which is uh, uh, not uh, aggressively touched by the formal channels right so that is uh, this coal ending uh, is giving us a good window to cover those uh, areas and segments right. tell us how digital banking solutions uh, you know are gaining prominence how crude vaisya is using technology and digital platforms to make uh, its banking service more accessible and convenient uh, for micro and small businesses you touched a little bit uh, on it right at the beginning uh, but you know if you could elaborate see the bank has uh, started on the digital uh, uh, journey way back in 2017 18 and uh, when uh, the real challenge came in the year 2020 our bank was the uh, was the one of the first banks to uh, get uh, onboarded by the national credit uh, guarantee trust corporation for the uh, the guaranteed emergency line of credit and ours is the only bank which has uh, automated the requirements at the time many entrepreneurs in the micro and small were uh, uh clueless uh, because of the challenges uh, it was unknown unknown situation for most of these all the people and especially these micro entrepreneurs we had the digital lending uh, platform has enabled our bank to uh, see that the workflow is automated and uh, there are uh, 99% of the cases the we were able to reach that uh, emergency credit line within a half day the process was so automated that within half day approvals used to come whereas many big players were doing manually right that was the advantage kbb had okay so these All are right. some of these these are some of the reasons why the bank has as you at the introductory remark you said about uh, bank is uh, recognized for its msme friendly approach so right. the <laughs> the concluding line is that karur vaisya bank is uh, known as an uh, all weather friend to the entrepreneurs not a fair weather friend All right, sir, and you know, uh, we wish you all success in continuing to be the all weather friend. Thank you so very much uh, for speaking to us here at the Economic Times dot com. Thank you, thank you for having us.